Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve this differential equation solution. This appears to be um, a separable differential equation. What that means is that you can get all of the x's on one side and all of the y's on one side. Let's try to do that. I think if we multiply both sides by y cubed and multiply by dx, we'll be there. Let's try it. So multiplying by y cubed, that's going to give us y cubed dy, and then multiplying by dx, that gives us 1 over x dx. Okay, so we've essentially multiplied both sides by dx and by y cubed, and we've arrived here. Now what we do is we simply integrate both sides. To integrate the left-hand side, we can just use the power rule, right? We can add 1 to the exponent. There's a 3 here, so we add 1, so we get y to the 4, and we divide by that number. Now you could put a plus c here, but it's not necessary because if you end up with a c on one side and a c on the other side, you can subtract them and then you can rename it and you can call it c. So it's only necessary to add the c on one side. This integral here is going to become the natural log of the absolute value of x. It's a formula. And then we have our plus c. And that's it. I guess if you wanted to go further, um, you could multiply by 4. Let's do that. So put a 4 here, put a 4 here. So you would get y to the 4th. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. I had not done this problem. <laughs> this is 4, natural log, absolute value of x, plus 4c. Ah, this is instructive. So c is arbitrary. It could be any number. Uh, we're multiplying it by 4, so we can rename our constant. So y to the 4th is equal to 4 natural log, absolute value of x, plus, and we can call this whatever we like, let's call it big K. So that's equal to big K. And if you want to be nice, you can let the reader know that big K is equal to 4C. Although in this case, it's pretty clear. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.